Are you looking to create a profit from your rabbitry or even just thinking about getting rabbits for the first time and kind of questioning whether they are worth the purchase and if you're even going to get a profit for them? Well, today we're going over the top five ways that you can make a profit from rabbits. And most of these ways we've actually done at our homestead. So I'll weigh in on what we've done and what's been successful here. And to kick things off, I think that there are are so many different pros to rabbits. I've done a whole video on pros and cons. I think they're a great addition to any homestead. And the top three reasons are that they're really easy to raise. They're most of them is just self-sufficient. They have a lot of things that are just ingrained into them. The moms are always going to be able to raise their own offspring. They're inexpensive to get into it. You really only need the rabbits, cages, and then food, hay, bedding, and any additional toys or maintenance items. And it's a really low cost animal that you can get into as opposed to different types of animals that are going to be much larger. You may need a pickup truck or a large barn to house them. And the last reason is they're fairly easy to breed. There's a lot of jokes around breeding like rabbits. And let me tell you, they do breed really well. It's not hard. And they usually have pretty large offsprings, ranging from anywhere from like three to even 12 offsprings in one litter. So you're going to find that it's pretty easy. The moms are usually going to raise them for the most part. And they're overall a fun animal to bring into your house, homestead, or small farm. I'm Danielle of the Split Arrow Farm, and welcome to our channel where we bring you new content every week about how to start your own homestead or live a more self-sustainable lifestyle. And today we're jumping into five ways that you can make a profit on rabbits. So without further ado, let's get started on number one. The first method here is actually going to be selling the meat from your rabbits. Now, if you are breeding rabbits like New Zealand's, Californians, silver foxes, and a few other different types of rabbits that are going to grow pretty large at a pretty quick rate, you're going to be able to gain a sufficient amount of money from your rabbits. Now, New Zealand's and Californians are the rabbits that we have at our farm, and depending on any of your county laws, you're able to actually sell the meat that you process from your rabbits. And there's generally going to be two different ways that you can process the meat. You can either do it at your farm, making sure that it is a clean, sterile process. In some counties, you will need a USDA-approved kitchen, which is what you would need where we live in the Northeast, and this means that you would just send it out to someone and they would actually process it for you. Or in some counties, you can actually get your kitchen approved to be a USDA kitchen. So something to think about if you're looking to do that in-house, you just want to really make some phone calls and figure that out. Now, once you actually do process the meat, you can sell it to friends and families. You can sell it to any type of farmer's markets if you do that in your town. There's also a really large market where you can actually sell it to high-end restaurants. It's usually a delicacy in a lot of different eateries. Now, unfortunately, when you do have rabbits, not all of the rabbits might not make it from the kit infancy stage. And you can actually sell these smaller rabbits if they don't make it. So there's something called being born on the wire. And this basically is a concept where the rabbit is born and it's not inside of the nest. It's not cared for for its mom. And sometimes the mom just has way too many rabbits in her litter or she's just not a good mom and she'll kind of kick out her rabbits from the nesting area. And these rabbits, what you can do is you can actually take these little tiny really, really baby rabbits. They kind of look like a naked mole right at that point. And you can take them and you can throw them into the freezer and sell them to a pet store or anyone that does have snakes or reptiles that might want to eat this as well. And that's something that you can sell or give to any friends or, dog or snake owners. Now let's talk about the profit. For any of those smaller rabbits, those are called pinkies. You're usually gonna get around $3 per pinky. If you're talking about the meat that you're going to harvest from a full size rabbit, you can usually get anywhere from five to seven dollars per pound. And then depending on how large your rabbits are, which you're usually going to want to grow your rabbits out to around anywhere from eight to 12 weeks, and then you would harvest those rabbits which is a really quick turnaround time and you can get a good amount of money for any of those rabbits. 
Number two, the second way that you can actually make money with your rabbits from your rabbitry is going to be by selling the pelts. When you are harvesting your rabbits, you are going to have the hides as a byproduct that most people will just throw away. But you can actually take those, clean them, and go through the tanning process. Now, we haven't tanned at our farm, but I know that a lot of people do do it, and it is a lengthy process. But the more that you do it, the better you'll become at the tanning, and the higher you can sell your products for. Now, you can either sell the actual hide, the pelt that you make so once you've gone through the tanning process you turn it into a pelt or you can turn it into something fun and funky so you can build your own type of clothes dolls or anything the likes if you are super crafty and most of the time you can sell your products either on etsy or any to any crafters you can sell it commercially to any brand that might be building out anything from fur in regards to profit you can get anywhere from a dollar fifty to thirty dollars depending on the color of the rabbit the breed of the rabbit, age, and many other different factors, especially the tanning that's actually done on it and how good the tanning is, you can sell it for a much higher mark. So another great way that you can make money from your rabbits. Number three, the third way that you can be getting a profit from rabbits is going to be selling the fur as a fiber. Now, if you are going to be selling the fur as a fiber, you would need to actually probably get a rabbit like an Angora, which has really luxurious, soft, silky fur. And they are going to require a little more TLC and time than you would need for, say, a New Zealand or Californian rabbit. You're going to need to go in and actually care for those rabbits on a daily basis, making sure to brush them and making sure that they have a nice coat. Now, there are a few different ways that you can actually get their fibers and turn it into a different types of yarn. And these are going to be really luxurious that crafters and commercial industries, the likes are really going to enjoy, meaning that you can sell these at farmers markets, you can sell it to crafters, you can sell it to commercial craft vendors, and to friends and family. And what's really great here is you can get anywhere from $7 to $16 per ounce. And this is once it's spun into the yarn. The price is really going to be dependent on the color, the breed, the age of the rabbit, and how it's actually spun. The fourth way that you can gain a profit from rabbits, and probably our biggest use case, is going to be selling rabbits as pets. Now, a lot of different breeds can be dual purpose breeds. So like I said before, we have New Zealand's and Californians. We'll crossbreed them, and then we'll also purebreed them as well. And we do sell these going on Craigslist, Facebook market place and different Facebook homesteading groups that we will sell these. And we've made a really great profit from this. We sell our rabbits for around $40. And I've seen that you can sell rabbits anywhere from $10 if you're going to be selling them to a pet store. So if you do want to gain a relationship with pet stores, you could actually get a really good thing going and actually give a lot of your offspring to them. Although it is going to be a much lower cost because they do need to make a profit off of it. Or you can sell them straight to the customer. That's how we do a lot of our sales. We sell our rabbits for $40, but I've also seen people that are selling really nice, high quality, pure red rabbits for anywhere up to like $250. So depending on the type of rabbit breed that you have, if there is a history on that rabbit, you can really garner a pretty high value from your rabbits. The fifth way and probably the most commented everyone talks about is going to be selling the droppings from your rabbits. So yes, you're selling rabbit poop. Now, the reason that you're selling this is because rabbit droppings can actually create a really great fertilizer for the garden. So here at our farm, we actually use all of our rabbit droppings to help with our farm. We compost them, which will actually, in the winter right now we're doing that, we just straight compost them so they can kind of heat up and start to create and churn a better type of manure for our garden. But in the summer, you can actually throw it straight into your garden. Actually, all year you can throw it straight into your garden and it will help. It doesn't need to be cleaned or you don't need to process it for any amount of time. And it's very nutritious for the garden. Now, if you did want to sell this, this is gonna be great to sell to maybe landscapers in the area, garden lovers, friends, families, anyone that does like to garden. And you can usually sell it anywhere for like a 40 pound 
bag, you can sell it anywhere from zero to around $40. So depending on what the need is in your area, where exactly you live, what people are doing in the area, you might be able to churn out a pretty great profit. Like I said, we usually just use ours in our garden, but I definitely do want to see it this spring going into garden season if it is something that we can sell and kind of how we want to investigate that there. So if that's of interest to you, learning more about that, we're definitely going to try to do some more creation of pelts this year and selling of droppings. So if those are interesting videos to you, we can go through the process of what we do there. And again, we do sell our rabbits. If you want to learn more about that, comment below and we can do even more deep dives on that. But thank you so much for watching. I hope these were helpful and that you guys can start to make a profit from your rabbitry. Okay, bye.